Part one of this video series presented a new perspective on population management. Any large population can be divided into four different cohorts. This segment of the video series is going to target the first two cohorts, the healthy majority and the asymptomatic early chronic disease cohorts. The healthy majority, by definition, consists of the majority of any given population. However, they contribute very little to the healthcare spending in a given year. UHC analysis demonstrated that these individuals contribute less than $300 per year to the annual healthcare spend. Any effective management strategy targeting this segment of the population needs to be low cost and easily accessible for when these individuals might need to enter our healthcare system. Overinvesting in infrastructure and care management is not going to generate a return on investment. In fact, traditional insurance approaches, such as deductibles, may be the most effective strategy to targeting the healthy majority of the population. The second cohort we have defined as asymptomatic, or individuals that are in the early phases of a chronic disease. When you assess this portion of the population, it consists of about a third of any commercially insured population. However, this portion of the population contributes to a very small portion of the healthcare spending in a given year. Traditional managed care approaches have been targeting this population through the medical home model. The medical home model can be an effective management tactic for this particular segment of the population. However, changes need to be made in the role of the primary care physician. The primary care physician needs to move from one of a gatekeeper to one of a quarterback in which they are coordinating interactions with multiple specialists to help manage the disease progression of this particular cohort. To learn about cohorts three and four of UHC's population management taxonomy, please tune in for part three of this video series.